everybody, welcome back to another video. I thought today I'd go over, uh, since hunting season's about to start, or actually, hunting season is in, deer season is in for here in Georgia, but um, gun season is about to start, so I got out my hunting gear and was going through it and everything, so I thought I'd go over today and show you what's in my hunting pack. Uh, like I said before, I love these videos. I've, I've watched a lot on, on YouTube, you know, of what's in people's packs. I love watching and seeing what different people carry in their packs for different seasons and, and different things. So I just thought I'd show you what's in my pack. Uh, basically what this is, this is a Redhead brand. It's Bass Pro's brand backpack. I'm not sure the model number. Um, I, I've used several different backpacks over the years. and I didn't really used to use backpacks. I, I always use fanny packs, but I found that the more I got involved in, in you know, survival and stuff. I, I carried a little bit more gear, a little bit better gear and stuff. So, in some of the places I used to hunt, when I used to hunt with my uncle, I would be dropped off and and they wouldn't come back and pick me up for until nighttime. I'd be dropped off in the morning and wouldn't come back till night. So I'd have to have, you know, everything in here that I needed for the day. You know, sitting up in a tree stand or a ground blind. You know, food and all that stuff. So, anyway, so I found this pack, which is cool because what I like about it is on the bottom here is a fanny pack that's detachable from the main pack itself. So if I get to my stand or ground blind or whatever, I can drop my, my big pack and say I shoot a deer or whatever, I can unhook it, take my, just my fanny pack, and that way I have everything, all the essentials in my fanny pack. Basically, this is my survival pack type right here. And uh, so anyway, let's go through this. This is a real, uh, this is real tree camo and it's, it's soft. I'm not quite sure what they call it, but it's a softer form uh, of of material. And starting at the back, what another thing what I really liked about this pack, it, it's Camelback compatible, so you can put a, a hydration bladder in there if you want. You can see right here the little hydration clip, and it also is compatible with the um, these other pouches and stuff that it, if you have this little. The buddy lock system, I think, is what it's called. I'm, again, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but they make different packs and stuff you can clip on, you know, with the with these. And it's got really good padded shoulder straps. This thing is is awesome. I mean, I love padded shoulder straps. A little nice back area. But anyway, let's go over it. The, the main compartment you used to put in there. Uh, one cart canteen, canteen with canteen cup. Some rope. Extra orange vest. And the biggest thing in here is my uh, ground blind. This is a uh, an army shelter half. And what I use this for is uh, basically a, a ground blind. If I'm going to be on the ground, I'll set this up between a couple trees and, and set behind it, and that'll be my ground blind. So that's the biggest thing in the, in the main compartment right there. And that also serves as a shelter if I have to spend a night in the woods. So, and then some uh, toilet paper. That's that's it. In the main. It's really it. In the main compartment. Now, if I'm going to be out all day, I'll also put in there some some food. If it, depending on what it is, I'm going to be out for the day. You know, sandwiches, uh, a thermos with soup, and whatnot. You know, what food stuff. It has another front pocket on it here. And basically what I put in here is just some game calls. I have a couple of deer grunts, some uh, a doe bleat or a fawn bleat. Uh, there's some latex gloves for field dressing. And I got this little, I got this one year for Christmas. It's a Winchester brand. And it's a little, a little gutting knife. And it has another little pocket knife on it as well. And it has two blades. It has a little saw blade. And it has a little straight edge blade on it or a knife blade on it and I just keep that in there for you know for skinning animals and stuff like that so gives me another little little knife to have of course I always have knives on me anyway and on the outside it has pockets zippered pockets on the outside for water bottles on this one side I just have my cover scents uh, this is some of those fresh earth uh, cover scent wafers this is from HS scents um, and then here's some pine cover scent depending on if I'm going to be hunting in the pines and on the other side there's nothing in the other side sometimes I'll put a water bottle an extra water bottle in there and then it has a little zippered mesh 
mesh front pocket here and all I have in here is my gloves and my head net and then down here in the bottom is the fanny pack now the fanny pack has a couple of compartments on it, it has this front pouch here it has the main compartment and then it has a little little side pouch on each side this one on this side is a little bigger than, than this one on this side let's go in the front pocket here and we'll talk about what's in here first now the front pocket I got a little knife this was one of my first probably my first uh, higher dollar survival knife I guess you could say it's a, a hollow handled knife I, uh, it's called the Explorer you know it's made in Japan um, hollow handled I've had this like I said this was my first higher dollar knife that my dad bought me this I've had this thing ever since I was a kid and it's been to many many outings and, and stuff and I just have it thrown in here as a backup knife it, it's not great for batoning and stuff like that because it is a hollow handled knife but it's a, a little survival knife and it's I got a little survival kit in here on the little pockets on front little survival kit matches and stuff your typical you know stuff but that just kind of stays in there it's like I said a backup knife a little uh, medicine bottle with some tinder in there some steel wool some cotton and some jute twine and here is one of those little five-in-one cheap little five-in-one deals you can find at Walmart and stuff it's got a, a whistle on it a little compass uh, got a little ferro rod right there which is it is crappy it will strike a little bit of sparks but don't rely on it and inside the container it's got a little mirror and I just got it full of strike anywhere matches that have been uh, coated with wax on there so they've got some matches in there matches a little headlamp a little mini mag light I love I've, as I said in a previous video I love these little mini mag lights this, this one doesn't have the LED upgrade but you know I just I have a thing for these I love them so it, they always stay in here and a hank of um, jute twine and a couple of little hanks of bank line and some batteries and stuff for the flashlights so that's in the outside compartment and the main inner, inner compartment of the fanny pack got some paracord first aid kit binoculars some little Tasco 8x32 binoculars a uh, pair of field dressing gloves again uh, my deer drag some extra shelter materials this is a 55 gallon drum liner there's two of those also there's um, two one gallon freezer bags and two one quart freezer bags there for extra shelter materials some extra toilet paper again more little toilet tissues um, and this is um, a big poncho camo poncho so I got a lot of shelter stuff if I need shelter which is cool so that's all in the main compartment and just basically on this small little compartment over here on the side I've got some flagging tape because it's always always good to have a lot of flagging tape with you I need to put another roll in here I didn't realize that I didn't have as much as I thought I did so I gotta get another roll of flagging tape and put in here because that's always good for you know after you shoot a deer or if you're going into a, a location you can flag your your way in so you can flag your way out or find your way out and this is just a little another mini survival kit that I made up which is also a mini fishing kit on top of that one of the little it's a PVC tube with little end caps on it and on this side I got some Gorilla duct tape wrapped around right here I got some spider wire fishing wire and then inside I got some fishing lures and another mini a uh, couple of uh, matches and stuff like that and I can hook this on my keychain if I want but just something I threw together and just threw in here just because I like to have redundant items and extra items and over here in this little bigger compartment on the side it's just some extra food stuff that, that came out of MREs. I mean, they've got some MRE uh, matches, some coffee creamer, and another little pack here. I got some bouillon cubes, another some MRE tea, some MRE coffee again, sugars, uh, salt and pepper, stuff like that. And then another small little hank of, of rope, uh, nylon, cheap nylon rope. And then on the the belt, the hip belt of the fanny pack, I've got one of these pouches that attach, like I showed you on the front, it attaches to like this, attaches to one of those, 
And usually in here is, uh, I'll throw my wallet in here, uh, some extra ammo, and maybe a couple of granola bars. Um, that's usually what I'll throw in here. There's no food and stuff in here now. Like I said, I just got this out, and so I'm going through it and seeing what I need to put in, what I need to take out, and stuff like that. So, you know, this is just what's in my hunting pack. And as you can tell, a lot of this stuff kind of crosses over to other packs. You know, I have different kits for different things, and I have kits everywhere. So a lot of this, and my thoughts and my philosophy is if I have to grab a, a particular pack, I know that I'm going to have everything in there that I'm going to need to survive. If I have to survive overnight or whatever, a, a day or two, no matter what pack I grab, most of my packs generally is going to have at least the ascent minimum essentials in there to get me through. So I know a lot of guys when I used to go hunting with, with several people here the past couple years I've been going by myself because I really hadn't had anybody to go with for one but uh, and I hadn't been to South Carolina to go hunting with my uncle uh, lately. But they used to laugh at me. You know, they'd say, You don't need all that junk. You know, why do you carry that stuff? You know, you, we're we're right here, we'll be back to get you in, you know, at night or, or whatever and you know, my whole thing was is yeah, it might seem a lot of stuff to you, but if again, if I'm if I get out there and get hurt, and I have to stay out there more than a day, like if I'm tracking a deer and I get hurt or whatever, and I have to spend a night, and I want things that I know that I can survive out there with. I want my comfort items. I want things that I know I can trust my life on. So that's kind of my philosophy on on these things. So anyway. Till uh, another video, I appreciate y'all's views and support and comments, and I'll see you on another video. Thanks.